Well, howdy, howdy, howdy. Nearly the senior citizen here. Greetings, boys, girls, and all of our non-binary friends, and welcome to this another brand new day, wherein hopefully my computer is functioning at least mostly uh, where it should be. There are changes. There are changes. Part of it is because I haven't linked it to a Microsoft account, and so it boots up straight into Windows 10 with no welcome screen or anything, so I need to do that. But it boots up differently. The bad hard drive is still in the machine. Because I have a bad hard drive, it just died. And so that's slowing down the process, and I need to get that one out of there. Problem is, problem is, of course, hard drives go into hard drive bays. And the information on a hard drive is on the side of the hard drive, which is inside of the bay that you screw the hard drive into. So I have to identify through software processes which drive it is by name so I can go in and take it out. And then I gotta crack it open, physically remove a drive, see if it is that drive, and if it isn't, put it back in. So that's, I've been hesitant, but I gotta do it because I think it does slow down the, the booting process, so yay. But a lot of the stuff that happened where I wasn't so thrilled with how the machine was working, all part of the process of updating, it's working a lot better. And that's very, very good. Definitely a thumbs up. I mean, I've lost a lot. I lost a lot of stuff when the C drive went. And when my D drive died. I mean, I've lost a lot. But that's okay. Especially since I'd mentioned how two drives were gone and dead and I couldn't use them. After a whole bunch of the updates, the other drive is accessible and is fine. So thumbs up. That's a good thing. Past that though, I've got, I'm still finding out which software I need to download and, and set up. This morning I had to download the Audacity for the volume, volume, for the audio. And so thumbs up for that. Because what I do is I record the video off the PS4 and I record the audio using my microphone and all that and then I use my film editor to merge the two and so thumbs up yay so hopefully it's it's getting close I had mentioned on Twitter how the last couple days have been hell where I am on the spectrum is I'm, I'm out near the edges so I'm not affected a ton I mean, there are parts of my life that are just plain walled off because of how my brain is, is. And so I need routine, habit, routine. I've mentioned before how it's, I need to have routine. I can do the same thing every day and be happy about it. I need some variation for individualism between those things, but I need form and structure. My life is otherwise formless and structureless. And so the past couple days have been hell because normally I wake up, come in here, turn on my computer, start waking up. You know, I start taking my ADHD meds and I start waking up physically and mentally because even though I am the kind of person that when I wake up and my eyes open, I can start talking. And it seems like I'm awake because I can do things. I'm not awake. My mind is not functioning properly. My body is on autopilot. I don't need to think to talk. And so I, I start up and I look like I'm just roll up and get going. No, my mind is still waking up. It's helped, of course, by my, helped in quotes, by my insomnia. But, you know, there is that, so. But I did want to mention, I because I say, I come in, I, I turn on my computer, I wake up, I do things, and I've got form and structure. You know, maybe my YouTube videos aren't much, and not many people watch them. But the few that do, thank you very much. It is greatly appreciated in doing this. This data provides form and structure to an otherwise formless and structureless life. I spent the last couple days not doing anything, even rarely playing games. I just watched videos and kept falling asleep. And that sucks. I did nothing. I couldn't even make phone calls. I had to cancel my 
therapy because I was just such a wreck. So, yay. It's nice having the computer back because it's nice having form and structure back. So thumbs up on that. Now, let's see what else I have here to talk about. Oh, yes. This is just a minor thing, but especially since I've noticed it a lot today. <coughs> Over the past year, in cannabis shops, actual flour itself has been super expensive. It just shot up in price. You could get an ounce of budget weed for about 45, 50 bucks beforehand. Once all this started here, suddenly it was 90 bucks or more for the same stuff. Doubled in price. Quality was the same, still just budget weed and filled with seeds, but it was there. I couldn't afford that. I couldn't afford to double that. So I was just on concentrates largely for the past year. This last month, the price had come back down to normal levels. So I picked up an ounce of budget weed. Oh boy. I like the cannabis in it. I like the change in stuff because once again, routine and the routine of filling up a pipe and then smoking the pipe and doing that sort of thing is a nice bit of routine. And I need that. So, yay. But, even though there is a huge difference between what happens to your lungs between smoking cannabis and smoking tobacco, because <coughs> I have mentioned before how I have seen pictures of end of life after autopsies when somebody, you know, end of life. They took out a regular cigarette smoker's lungs, and they took out a lifelong cannabis smoker's lungs. And the cannabis smoker's lungs looked lightly seared. There was damage. You know, it's like if they were a steak, someone had slapped them on the grill for like 30 seconds, flipped them over for another 30, took them off, and then served. You know, there was damage. There was, they were lightly blackened on the outside. But the tobacco smoker's lungs were just, well, they were just a couple charcoal briquettes where there should have been lobes. There was very little lung tissue left. So light damage with cannabis versus total destruction of your lungs. I think a mild cough every once in a while is, is worth that. Because I, as stated, I get pain control out of this, and that's good. Occasionally, I'll get a little bit more, but largely it's just <coughs> an annoying cough, pain control, and a vague feeling of goodwill. Now, I can never really tell what's going to happen. I have been out on walkies, uh, taken two pre-rolls with me, smoked them, and just been woo way up and way out where I was just regretting that I didn't have music. I have gone walkies at time where I had so much eyelid magnet I could I was walking like this a lot and then I had to pry my eyes open. Felt good though. <coughs> uh, excuse me. So there we are on that. <laughs> So I do not have a ton past that. I mean, I've got some things written down on here, like somebody had talked about, I can't even remember why, I think it was about anti-vaxxers and how if we had anti-vaxxers back when there was like polio, we would have luxury polio now. Not just regular polio, but luxury polio for the rich. Just the term luxury polio made me laugh. So it's been a couple days of just absolutely nothing happening, trying my best just to live, and my computer finally coming back online. <coughs> I, <coughs> oh, good lord. <coughs> Oof, da. 
funny but horrific at the same time because here I am ugh, trying to talk and record and the damage done to my voice box this morning from the cannabis smoking is, is quite irritating. I don't want to stop and wipe my eyes because my eyes are watering, because my throat hurts, because I'm busy hacking and coughing. But life is life, isn't it? So, yay. But again, now that I've driven all thoughts out of my mind, I am on full ADHD meds now. And again, it doesn't rev me up and make me anything other than just normal. It is a tool that it slotted into the right hole and it makes my brain function properly. That part's been nice. These past couple days, even though it slows the day down, and when I have nothing to do that's kind of hellish on its own, it's just nice that my brain is functioning semi-properly. I was about 20% proper functioning before. I'm smart, I can think about various things, but I have a whole bunch of roadblocks, blind spots, and trouble. This gets my brain working at about 80%, as opposed to the 20. Even though I'm not up to normal everyday levels, from 20% functioning to 80% functioning, it is literally the difference between night and day. Also, I wanted to mention, I've been wanting to talk about this one too, on the ADHD meds and everybody. Hopefully I'll explain that. I am now literally mentally and physically a different person than I was six, seven, six years ago when my wife died. We all are physically. Your atoms change in your body. Your molecules change in your body. Your cells live and die and are replaced. Everything in your body, like every seven to 10 years, you are physically not the same person that you always have been. Even if your cells, even if you have brain cells that have been alive for decades, they are physically not the same because of the change in molecules and atoms and such. So our bodies change physically, but mentally as well, and also biochemically because you change with age, but mentally as well. And since brain, I said that all wrong, since mind is a function of brain, if your brain functions differently, like it does when I take ADHD meds, HD meds, you know what I mean. When I take the meds, my brain works normally. So I am literally, physically and mentally, not the same person that I was even two years ago. After therapy, my brain started functioning closer to normal. After decades of being numb. Enough that I could finally get meds. And now I am literally the difference between night and day, not the person that I was even the last year. My brain is functioning. And right now, even though I require form and structure, routine and habit, I have been just enjoying being normal under ADHD terms and just liking that. On the other hand, I know I do need to make new habits so I can get things done, but I also need to have normality drop in and and show its face for a while. And ever since I started my meds, I haven't had that. Med changes and then my computer dying. So now that I'm taking my meds properly, now that my computer is running, now that I got software doing stuff properly, I'm going to start making changes to my habits so that I can actually hopefully get things done. And that will be a very, very good thing. And I've opened up 24 hours worth of comments in my community tab. And I'm going to go through and thank 20 to 25 people for having left me a comment. I'm not reading the comments right now. I'm just thanking people for having left me a comment. 
If I, <coughs> excuse me, if I mispronounce a username, no disrespect is intended. And even though I count American Sign Language with my depression, fibro, and and more, you know, it's I'm getting a lot better. But we have Rumor Priestley, thumbs up and thank you. Ice Damon, greatly appreciated. And Holger Schink. I sure hope I'm close, thank you. The Pumpkin Eater, thank you very, very much. And Rob1983, always good to see you. Too Much Time, thumbs up and thank you. We have Ali, thumbs up and thank you. Made in Canada, good to see you in the comments. And Trollman85, thumbs up. We have Boo, greatly appreciated. Zombie Wolf, good to see you. And Creveros281, thumbs up. Agar Valpurga, thumbs up and thank you. <coughs> so irritating and annoying. I hope it doesn't bother you too much. We have Dewey Austin, Dewey Austin 3. Thumbs up and thank you. And there is Sard 778 Returns. Greatly appreciated. Dasarath. Thumbs up and thank you. Flora Mew. Good to see you in the comments. Daniel Pop. Thumbs up and thank you. Dog Pile. Spilled with digits instead of vowels. Pratik Dutta, thumbs up and thank you. We have Daniel Pop, greatly appreciated. Maxim Holmes, thumbs up. There is Drifter, greatly appreciated. Room 303, thumbs up and thank you. Go ADHD Go, thumbs up, greatly appreciated. Tercio Brillante, thumbs up and thank you all, each and every one of you. Get me out of my head into the world dealing with real people, and that is appreciated to no end. If you could check out my various links down below, I have Twitter, Facebook, Patreon.com. If you could become a Patreon.com patron like one of these beautiful and awesome people, that would be beautiful and awesome. And if you'd like to help me out without sending money to the patronage, I have a PayPal link down below. And if you'd like to help me out without sending money at all, I have an Amazon wish list link as well, where hopefully I'll have things like Reptisand and hamster food and hamster bedding and cat food on there. That would be awesome if I would get to that and make sure it's done. Definitely a thumbs up on that. And of course, how do I normally go on to the next part? I don't know. So if... Um, I literally don't know. But if you could toss me a like, that would be cool. Because I don't know where I am. I'm trying to pick it up. That would be awesome. I appreciate all the positive validation I get for my assistance. And of course, <clears throat> if you could hit the notification bell on the subscription button, that would be very, very cool indeed. Oh yeah, one of the things that happened, I lost every single one of my cool fonts that I had before. So now I've got to hunt down and, and find fonts because I just have the boring fonts that come with the system now. Yay. So, I'm going to still be working on my computer. I'm still working on things. I want to start streaming on Twitch. Mostly just chill, hanging out, playing stuff and talking. And yay. So, until it is safe. And largely around the world it's not. But in many places in the U.S. it's starting to get there. You know, but please wear a mask. Wash your hands. Try not to touch your face. Maintain your social distancing. Get a vaccination shot if you can. We can get through this. We just have to wade through the anti-maskers and anti-vaskers. Vaxxers. So, yay. So, you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side. I'm going to have something for later today. Whether it's a game or something else. I don't know. I have creativity. I just don't know how to uh, show it in a normal form. So, thumbs up for that. Enchantment room with an enchantment table and then I need obsidian. I have obsidian. I need a diamond. I need a diamond.